I was told by my coach to go to a meeting on Monday night at 1010 in the Edgerton back then. And I just basically said, okay, I had no idea what it was. I uh, showed up at 10 uh, and just sat through a meeting. Uh, I actually missed the next one because I was sick, but kind of went through it. And that was how I first heard about it. And I kind of thought it was like a student athlete government, so to speak, when I got in there. Uh, and then they have the in-person meeting every November. And I was told by the president, since I was the only male athlete that actually had the off time to go, that I was going on that trip. So it was kind of like, hey, you're going to New York City to be a part of SAC. And I was like, okay, like I didn't really know to say anything else because I was a freshman at the time. Uh, Connor Donnelly, men's golf student athlete, graduate student at Sacred Heart University, representing the student athletes of the Northeast Conference and D1 SAC co-vice chair. Yeah, during that meeting, I think I just heard what other what other campuses were doing across uh, the NEC and just heard about the other trials and tribulations that a student athlete has. And I started to relate to that and started to kind of see a bigger picture of where student athletes work so hard. And some campuses don't understand that from time to time. And some campuses think that a student athlete is still a, a regular student. And that's not fair to see that as a student athlete. You're asked to do so much more while you're wearing that logo of the institution you're at. So I think that I started to hear something that I really wanted to be a part of. During his time here, Connor has really seized the moment. Um, just look at all his activities. He's in the Thomas More Honor Society. He's doing internships, working in, in development. Uh, he does work at the golf club that we have. He's in athletics. He started the program for student athletes in terms of community service, um, in terms of the Pioneer Cup, etc. So he, he really speaks through his actions. And through those actions, he's speaking quite honorably about athletics here at the university. It was just before school got out my junior year, my, the end of my junior year that I got the email from Lisa saying, hey, you're gonna be national SAC rep. And I knew Logan Minert, who was the SAC rep from uh, St. Francis University. And like, I started touching base with her and I didn't, I knew it was a big position. I didn't know how big it was until she started to email me all of the agenda items and all that stuff. And I was like, wow, this is, this is really big. So that first meeting I walked in and thank God that I had her and Noreen and Lisa because they kind of, I was able to walk into my first meeting and really contribute. I think the best way I could describe it is almost like turning on C-SPAN and like watching the kind of legislative stuff that happens there because you're sitting around a huge table. Uh, there's 32, 33 people that come into that room. Uh, there's microphones all over it and you're looking at a couple of screens that you're looking all over about the agenda items. And then you're also being asked to vote on legislation and like it, it looks simple in there, but you're voting on stuff that's gonna change the landscape of the NCAA for years to come. The, the biggest conversation right now is time demands and just talking about a time management plan for student athletes. Um, that's been a couple of years in the making right now. So I think while I, there, nothing's been pushed through yet, I think convention of this year for 17 will be a big jumping mark for that. And then looking forward into the next set of priorities for the NCAA, um, amateurism is huge going over the 21st century athlete, and I was fortunate enough to, to lead a conversation about that at the July meeting. He's in that room and being able to hear what these conference commissioners and athletic directors um, amongst all levels in Division I are up against and, and, and how they're dealing with these type of things and what they're hearing from on our campus. So as we're moving forward to really implement our plans and shape what we're doing as far as student athlete welfare and time demands, he really is very, very influential in helping us map those out. Being a Sacred Heart student athlete uh, means the most to me out of all this. I think that being able to have the SHU on your chest means a lot. I think every student athlete on this campus feels that way. There's something about it. I think the environment that we've come up in breeds giving back. And I think that the best way I could give back right now is being a student athlete voice for this campus and then in the future giving back to hopefully be a part of this, this, this atmosphere for a long time.